You're welcome to the Forex Trading and Lifestyle Entrepreneurship channel. Do take a minute to pause this video and read this disclaimer. Hi there, it's Victor here once again and in today's video, we're going to be restarting the How to Use MetaTrader 4 like a pro series. Today we'll be looking at how to install to um, execute market orders basically how do you buy how do you sell um your forex pairs on your metatrader 4 platform these are basically called instant execution or mark market execution simply meaning you're buying or you're selling at the current market rate okay so let's go ahead uh we're going to use euro dollar as an example so we want to buy euro dollar want to buy euro dollar at the price of one around 1.1339 1 1.1335 zone and place a 50 pips stop loss so to do that you're simply going to tap as either you tap on the tap on the currency pair you're interested in and so i'm hovering over euro dollar so you simply tap on euro dollar or you hold it and once you tap or hold a drop down menu is going to appear a drop down menu is going to appear and you see new order All right so once you once you once you have the new order then you click on the new order button and then it brings you to this page so we're going to do a practical example but i just want to um let you see all the different buttons and functions before we go into that so on this page you can see here a circled in the black um in the black circle here market execution so market execution simply means we are going to we're buying it we're buying or selling at the current market rate currently you can see euro dollar is 1.1334 so if we click buy now it will be filling us in at 1.13349 and if we click sell now it will be filling us in at 1.13341 okay so that's for market execution the other type of order is the pending orders which we will discuss in the next video but for now we we'll focus on market execution so let's look at the different functions on this page before we go into the practical example first of all the bar here is colored red my mouse is hovering over it is colored red here and this represents where you put in your stop loss while the bar um, represented by the green color here is for your take profit so whenever you want to put in your stop loss or your take profit um, have the, that color nomenclature on your mind that red is for stop loss and green is for take profit okay so to to put in your your, your stop loss so you want to put a stop loss 50 pips on euro dollar that will be say at 1.1288 so you click in this box here this this um the figures here 0 0.0000 is you can edit them once you click in the box the cursor would appear and then you can type in whatever figure so here you type in 1.1288 that's that's the first way the second way you could click on the plus sign here once you click on the plus sign it will increase it will start increasing the the rate the the number here from 0 0.0001 and two like that until it gets to 0 0.0001 which is one pip but then they also you have the minus sign here is also used to reduce the the figure so plus and minus is used for increasing and reducing but the fastest way to do this is just click in the box and then type in whatever um rate that you want to place as your stop loss it's very important to note that these rates are very very um decimal sensitive so 0, 0.0 let's say we put in a 1.1288 it's different from if you mistakenly put 1.1388 you've made a very very big error of almost a hundred pips and that's going to cost you a lot of money so um forex rates are very very sensitive to the decimal point so if it's four decimal points make sure you're, you're typing in four decimal points 
if it's five decimals just copy and paste your stop loss exactly as you see it if it's a signal you're using or as you see it on the chart no room is made for errors okay so that's one then you also need to decide what is your lot size and in the previous videos i also shared with you how to calculate your lot sizes you don't just um, arbitrarily select any lot size you need to know how many percent of your capital are you risking if it's one percent if it's two percent i like to use one percent and so for 50 pips um stop loss risking one percent on a ten thousand dollar account it means that we're going to be using 0 0.2 we're going to be trading 0 0.2 lot size so to do that you need to change this figure here i'm hovering over it here is 1.0 that's one standard lot that's too big so to change this also you simply click on this you click on the number here once you click on it the cursor um the type bar will show up and then you can type whatever figure you want to use and so you can simply just type 0 0.2 there alternatively you could come to this button here so this is plus plus 0 0.1 here you have plus 0 0.01 uh, here you have minus 0 0.01 and here you have minus 0 0.1 so each of these four functions here is for you to you can either increase for every time you click it is going to increase by 0 0.1 for every time you click this one here it's going to increase by 0 0.1 for every time you you click 0 0.01 here this figure here is going to increase by 0 0.01 okay so here also every time you click this one here this figure in the center is going to reduce by 0 0.01 and then every time you click zero this minus 0 0.1 here this figure in the middle is going to reduce by 0 0.1 that's going from 1.0 to 0 0.9 i hope that uh, was clear enough and then when you're done with all your parameters you simply click sell if you want to sell or you click buy if you want to buy and it's going to fill you into the market okay so um let's look at a practical example of how this is done tap the euro dollar button for new order once you click new order it brings you to this page and here i showed you earlier in the images you, you can edit the lot size from this point here by just simply by typing it in and then also you can use each of these functions the plus 0 0.01 and plus 0 0.1 to increase so we're using zero plus 0 0.01 now increasing and now we are re reducing with z minus 0 0.01 and it keeps going down and then now we're using the 0 0.1 right here 0 0.1 it goes up and then now using minus 0 0.1 bringing it back down so all of these um functions here are for you to just select the uh, appropriate lot size based on what your trade recommendation or trade your risk management is and then next we come to your stop loss you click in this bar here and then type in the stop loss you want to put in there which was supposed to be 1.1288 here we're using the plus and the minus button to increase or reduce once you've gotten a figure that is closed and then you click on buy so now you can see the trades for euro dollar and pound dollar it's just as simple as is as easy as as that here also we have example for pound dollar same same process you select your lot size here and then your stop is in a, is in a stop loss of 1.3065 and selling at 1.2966 so 1.3065 that's about um 60 about 50 about 100 pips and then you click your sell and then the order is split you have the two orders you have the two orders here the pound dollar and the euro dollar tap it it drops down and all the details are there so we've come to the end of today's um, video training um, if you've learned something you give us a thumbs up if you like the video give us a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the 
um, subscribe button below this video and also click the sub click click the bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified whenever we upload a new video lots of amazing content signals and um crazy trading strategy that we're, we're going to be sharing with you shortly on this channel i'll see you in the next video cheers